Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to explore the topic, where are we going today? And the reason I have this topic is because I ordered this really cool deck of playing cards. They're the Architecture Scala cards. You can find this on Etsy and it's such a wonderful deck. I'll just show you. And this deck is what inspired today's topic because it features all these really cool locations. So as we can see here, we've got, you know, France 2012, New York, USA 2011 and of course it has like the building as well. I'm not too familiar with some of these buildings but what I thought was really nice is all these different locations. So perhaps maybe a location will be relevant to people. It's really interesting though. There's one of London. Yeah, I, I drew this and I was amazed because that's London UK 2004. That's the exact year when I moved. To England isn't that amazing and to London and this is this is there in in London so yeah so that was a really relevant one for me but what I thought we could do is we could draw one of these per groups and the thing that might be relevant who knows the location might be a little bit relevant or the year and we're also going to draw from my gods and goddesses deck as well and that can be travel related as well because we're traveling through the dimensions, through layers of consciousness. So who knows? Let's see how this reading goes. So it's something about where are we going? We're going on some kind of adventure. So if you would like, you can choose from between group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one, you are in the right place. Before I draw these, just park that over there. Why don't we take one from this beautiful deck? And then I think we'll draw all the Oracle cards first, actually. I'm so excited to be using this deck. It arrived the other day. I think it's from Spain, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So it took a while to get here, but it has finally arrived. Okay, let's draw some of these. I hope your week is... Well, let's see, I'll be launching this tomorrow, so I hope you've had a good week. And I hope you're going to have a restful weekend. You know, here it's going to be raining. We've got so much rain, thunderstorms. My brother told me it's La Nina that's going on. It used to be El Nino, but oh, which do I take? This one's sticking out. I'll take this one. Okay. And then what else? This. I want one of these. And then we're going to have some tarot. We've got quite a few today. So let's see what comes. We'll take two of these. And then one of the other tarot. Okay. There we go. And one of these. Why not? I haven't used this deck for a while. I'm trying to use some of the decks I haven't used. For a while. Actually, I think I did use this recently, but yeah. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's begin with... Why don't we begin with the place or the year. Maybe, maybe, you know, one of these is going to be significant. Maybe not. Let's take a look. Oh, cool. Japan it says Sendai, Japan, 2001. Lovely. I'm trying to focus there. There we go. The building is called Toyo Ito. Sendai, Mediatek. Mediatek? I think so. Well, anyway, this 
card, we've got the Three of Hearts here. This is the Three of Cups. This is a beautiful card of celebration. This is wonderful. So you're off to a beautiful start here. Three of Cups, celebration, lovely. Let's see what God or Goddess has appeared. Durga, Durga Devi, Goddess of Material Energy. Absolutely. Let's read what it says. I bow down again and again to the Goddess who is manifest in all creatures as strength and power. Absolutely. Durga is incredibly strong. Durga Ma. Personal empowerment destruction of ignorance, development of spiritual forces, suppression of negative psychic influences. Amazing. All right. So we've got the Ruga here. Good. Supermoon, attraction, lovely. All right, so we've got symbol for Taurus and Gemini. We've also got Jupiter and Saturn present here as well, along with the number five. It says here, physicality and intellect. Your mind is like a king, but your body also deserves glory. Okay. Lovely. How am I going to arrange these? Just put them there. I'll figure it out. We've got the Three of Cups here. Tarot, more tarot. We've got the Knight of Swords. Okay. We've got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, beautiful. And lastly, wow, we've got the Knight of Cups. Okay. This is a really interesting spread. Another really interesting thing we have here is all this blue energy here. And we do have a lot of cups on the table. So all these cups to me are... Well, this is, this is about your emotions. This is about your feelings. It could be about expression because we've got this light blue color. Blue, of course, is the fifth chakra, which is expression, which is speaking, which is, you know, and we've also got Taurus and Gemini here as well. Okay, this is the part of the chart. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. This is the part of the chart through which we speak. And perhaps you are needing to speak about some big things. We've got Jupiter and Saturn here. So maybe some of the feelings are quite big. See, we've got attraction here. But then we also do have Durga here. And we've got the Eight of Cups here. So what I am seeing, and I think I'm going to rearrange these a little bit. I'm seeing, I feel, like, I feel like there's a walking away. I think there's some situation in your love life that is not working out and you are deciding that's it. I can't keep doing this anymore and I have to walk away. This is not right for me. And I think this card is confirming that that's, that's a good idea because it says here your mind is like a king but your body also deserves glory. And I think that to me is kind of saying that you can't just live out of your mind. You can't just live on dreams. You can't just keep visualizing and hoping and, and just somehow just live on that. It's like 
No, you want, and look, it, this could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be a career, this could be all kinds of different things. There's something that you're walking away from and there's something that's being dismantled or transformed in a really big, massive way. And you're walking away and you can't, you can't just keep going on thin air, right? O on dreams alone. <coughs> you need, uh, you need to experience things and what you want is you want this you want the three of cups all that celebration and fun and excitement you know you want to be able to express your love to someone or to be in work where you're really expressing and contributing and giving and creating and making a difference it's like yeah you want the real thing at the ground level you, you, dreams alone are not going to do it anymore. It's just not working out. Knight of Swords. Here we've got the intellect that this card speaks about. Physicality and intellect. Here we've got the intellectual side of things. And this can be a card of needing to to speak it can be a card this is a really fast moving i know the um the knight of wands is extremely fast but this is quite fast too fast energy here i'm just getting the message or the sense of speak up it's important for you to speak it's important for you to speak up for what wow that bird speak up for what it is that you want i think that's going to be important and i actually think that that could be that's like a bridge i think that's what will bridge the gap so i'm going to place this kind of here because i want to bridge these two with this card you speaking is going to make some form of difference and look maybe this situation is old and it's breaking away and this is not for you anymore but in the future I think the lesson is in the future speak up express yourself more say what it is that's on your mind or what it is that you truly want and then you will be experiencing all these things that you really do want in in person in the flesh in in your real life you know let's see what's here in oh i kind of i didn't fold these so much today so they're not jumbling around i'll just kind of because i think they'll photo photograph better if i don't oh let's take three why not um i think they'll photograph better if i don't fold them so much okay let's see When you want different for yourself, you have to start moving different. Old keys don't unlock new doors. Yeah, I think this is confirmation that there's some old dream or some old thing that maybe you wanted at one time, but it's not materializing, it's not happening now, it's not the right thing. And you'll have to start moving different yep let's take a look at the next one nothing in the world can bother you as much as your own mind Sri Sri Ravi Shankar yeah I love this and this is very Byron Katie as well nothing out there is a problem as such it's the stories we tell ourselves about what's happening out there it's the feelings that we hold and we can let all of that go or we can change them we can change the story we can change the feelings that we have as well what's in our mind is actually totally malleable and changeable and very often that's the the things that are in our mind are the things that are holding us back let's take a look at this one. Oh, this is so sweet Sensitive people suffer more, but they love more and dream more. Yeah, and I think 
to me this is showing the energy that's on this side is very much about these big incredible dreams that you have but then I mean we've got it written quite clearly here that you know your mind is like a king you're an incredible dreamer and you love a huge amount and you dream a huge amount but you deserve and, and should be experiencing these things in your real everyday life you know don't you want to don't you want to experience the thing don't you want to feel the thing I'm sure you do and I think that's worth pursuing go after the real thing you know these two cards look at that in both of these cards we're seeing and I think this is the guidance here which is go after your dreams make them happen here he's running towards the motorbike you know he's about to get on that and go for it right he's about to really go and feel the wind in his hair you know he's not sitting down this is a man in action this is a man who's going and don't go for what's breaking down or what's boring or what isn't appropriate for you go for what's going to be really exciting and fun go for the fun thing go for I mean, yeah I'm hearing go for go for gold that's a very Aussie <laughs> phrase but yeah go for it you know go for the thing that you want to or start go for some new thing as well go try something brand new that you've never done and this as well the knight of cups he's going somewhere and he's going to give something to someone or whatever it is right he's going for it and what you're going to experience is a lot of joy is a lot of fun you could who knows you might go to japan or something look at that wouldn't that be great right the whole world is out there and i think travel is starting to open up for people again i mean you know i know there are big problems in the world um i'm not so keen to travel anywhere <laughs> but maybe in your part of the world it, it could be it could be something group number one i'm going to leave this there it's been so much fun thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place before we shuffle and by the way this is a new deck which i have never used before so i'm very excited to shuffle that for you and this is also a new deck this is the scala architecture cards which i'm absolutely loving they shuffle so beautifully they're so high quality i love this deck and I really like the modernist style drawings that they have of all the different... Ooh, that is obvious. Let's take it. Go on, let's take it. Yeah, I really like the modernist style um, drawings and diagrams that they have of all the different locations, of all the different places. Okay. What else? One of these. We're going to have quite a lot of cards here today. Why don't we just start with two? If we need a clarifier, if we need one of those, I'll go for it. But if we don't, because we've got two of these now. <laughs> Let's take that one. Oh, okay, let's take three. So we're going to do that and then we won't take from that deck. That's all right. I think that's this is going to be a nice spread. All right, so let's see what we've got. So in terms of where are we traveling to? So, oh, fantastic. We're going to Portugal. Wow, this is great. It says here, Casque, Casque, Portugal. And the place is... The Paula Reggio Museum. Nice. I would love to go there. Oh, wow. It's the Two of Wands. Yes. Look at that. Two <laughs> wand like structures. That's great. You know, I did go to Portugal and it might have been, did I go there in 2010? 
I might have gone there somewhere around that year. I went with my really dear friend and I absolutely loved it. We went to Al Koshet. Beautiful place. Okay, Yamna Devi, goddess of purification. Wonderful. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. O Yamna, O daughter of the sun, you are the object of Krishna's love, the sunshine of eternal consciousness and bliss. Your body is the flowing liquid form of Brahman. Yeah, I did think this is, this is the river, right? You wash away all the world's sins and bring it auspiciousness. Please purify us. Yes, please do. Blessings, self-purification, joy of divine playfulness, absorption in spiritual truth, attachment to God's personal form. Wow. That is lovely. Gosh, okay, that's a great start. All right, let's see what else we have. Ooh, long night moon, darkness. Wow, little rabbit. That's fascinating. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Wow. Well, I've never drawn it in a reading. Okay. Protection. Yeah, this has come up many times in the readings here. And I think for all different groups, I think just about everybody's had this. It's a really pretty card. Okay. Wow, we've got Scorpio energy, poison and medicine. We've also got Mars and Jupiter present here as well. Alkalb, poison and medicine. In order to heal, we must first, we first must shed our pain and fear. Yeah. Yeah, some kind of dark night of the soul type energy coming through in this reading. Guys, wow, this is powerful. But you're going to a really good place. You're going here to the Two of Wands. You're going somewhere quite amazing. Temperance, excellent, yes. That's a good energy to draw in this reading. Page of Wands, wonderful. Another good energy. Okay. And the Eight of Wands, right. A lot of fire. A lot of fire in kind of deep, still, dark water. And we've got the river here herself. This is really interesting. Sorry, group two, I just had to attend to something at the door. Let's get back to the reading though. What I'm going to do so I'm going to move some of these around because I think a new pathway is opening up for you. I get the sense that, no, I think there is a really very new pathway. That's Because I was going to say I get the sense that maybe it's the same pathway. But we're being told here with the Page of Wands that it's something new. So I think there is a path that you are contemplating. And I think you're kind of deep in contemplation and I think you're not sure about this path because I think you think that if I, if I go down this path, that same old stuff is gonna happen to me again. I think there's fear and there's worry in connection with some avenue or some path that you have the option to go down. Perhaps you've received some messages or something with some new information, some new information has come in. 
there's something a path that there's something about a path that you're really not sure that is that right for me and I think what's over here on this side of the table for you is you regaining balance you regaining your center we've got temperance here temperance is the card of healing there's healing there's purification there's a brand new path and look at this look at the difference between this path and this path there's a massive difference this one you're really not sure about and this, the person is quite kind of, hey, yeah, that looks interesting. The cat's happy. The cat's already gone down some way here. We've got a lot of bright colors. We've got a lot of ease, happiness. All right, there's this little creature here. But I'm getting a really good sense of this pathway. Whereas this... I feel like you would need protection. I feel like things would happen really fast. There's something about this path, you're scared about repeating the past down this path. You're scared about some old past happening again, or, oh God, I, you know, last time I did this, it went, it went badly. And so I think what I would say is based on this information, We'll draw some uh, guidance from here. <coughs> but what I'm seeing is I think there is there's something far better for you that you're actually going to enjoy and that's actually going to be fun. And look at this, you know, the, it, if there is travel, look at this. I mean, you might be traveling to Europe. You might be traveling to Portugal. You might be, you know, you might be having fun. I don't know. But if it's not Portugal, it's just somewhere that excites you. It's somewhere in the world or it's some path that excites you. It's some path that when you are there, you're not off center. Like here, I think you'd be off center this is this kind of a world of fear here and if you go down this path you know look at the expression on her face it's kind of chaos eight of wands is fast energy but here we've got a bit of a tornado and look at her face this is i i feel like you've got a conscious choice here you can consciously choose this or you can consciously choose this and it seems really obvious, but you might also have a feeling that there's more courage and more adventure here or something like that. Whereas, you know, oh, this, I know this, and this is, this is me just being in my comfort zone. But I actually, I, I don't know, I am being very much drawn here and that, or just to say that there is a much better path for you. That's what's coming through in this reading. There's, there's a much better path that's right here, right now. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look and see what we've got in these quotes. Sorry about me getting distracted with the going to the door. I hope this hasn't... Uh, dismantled the flow of this reading. It says here, if you focus on the hurt, you will continue to suffer. If you focus on the lesson, you will continue to grow. Anonymous. Yeah, this is brilliant. This is exactly this spread. I mean, this couldn't be more perfect for this spread. If you focus on the hurt, you'll continue to suffer. If you focus on the lesson, you will continue to grow. That's really what's going on here, guys. That's exactly what's going on. This is, don't think that, oh, this is boring and, you know, this is all just spiritual and, you know, here I might actually grow and this is exciting. No, actually, you, you know, you might 
be better here rather than here. I know I do that sometimes where you think, where you think, yeah, the, the wrong thing will actually offer more growth or be more interesting or something. But no, this is, this is showing that there's something obvious going on here as well. Okay, so it's, it's obvious. Sometimes we get fooled with the darkness because we think that, oh, it's going to be more entertaining or I'll grow more or... But no, you could actually just, just be peaceful and just be really happy. Peaceful and happy is not boring. I think that, that's the other thing that I want to say about this um, part of the reading over here. This is beautiful. This is a good place to be, you know. Yeah, don't get conned by this. <laughs> the dark glamour. Who talks about that? It's Chuck Spitzano. He's a really good uh, psychiatrist. He talks about dark glamour. Oh, interesting. If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. Bruce Lee. That's cool that that would come up here. And I feel like that would be in here. I think there's, there's possibly just a lot of thinking that is... You know, and, and yeah, the thinking kind of, um, well, the thinking is where the pain and fear actually is. And I think in the previous group, I quoted Byron Katie, who says, it's not the thing or the stuff in the outside world or the situation in the outside world. It's the problem. The problem is our thoughts and feelings about the thing or the situation. And when we make that separation, we can change our thoughts, we can change our feelings, we can change the story that we are telling ourselves about what's going on out there. All of that is malleable, all of that can change. But I really like this spread and I particularly like, I think I'm going to put that over there. I particularly like this quote and this side of the table. This is the place to be, guys. And focus on the lesson. You will definitely continue to grow. All right, group two. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Before I draw these cards we're going to take one from here this is the last oh, i thought it was la scala no it just says architecture scala playing cards it's really beautiful and by the way the light has just gone absolutely dark i apologize we've got some storm clouds coming ahead we've got a lot of rainy weather here in Sydney it has been very rainy for so many days thundery showery I quite like it actually it kind of reminds me of London <laughs> but the rain here is oh my goodness out of this world okay I'm just gonna do that there we go the rain here is very like we get big fat drops of rain whereas in London you just get this kind of misty light shower well it can really rain there too there's every kind of rain in London well, across all of England really okay we'll take one of these take that one and make sure that's yes upright these are all upright I'm just going to do the standard thing like i did for group one group two was a bit interesting just now i also had an interruption in that reading as well i should have factored that into the reading why were we interrupted i'm only just realizing now <laughs> that i could have that was part of the reading an interruption take that one 
All right, let's see, where are we going? Where are we going at group number three? Okay, we are going. Oh, cool, we're going to Switzerland. Love it, this is a great start. I went there and I really enjoyed it. 2007, okay, so 2007 might be significant. Switzerland might be significant. Who knows, maybe even this building might be significant. This is the King of Wands. Oh, terrific. This is great energy. King of Wands is it's very exciting. Okay, let's take a look at this. We've got Surya. We've got the Sun, the Sun God. Yes. Fantastic. I think when I was shuffling, I was talking about rain and we have the sun turn up. Let us sing the glories of the sun god whose beauty rivals that of the hibiscus flower. Okay. I bow to him, the greatly effulgent son of Kashyapa. That's interesting because that's like a Kaipasha. I watch Kaipasha astrology as well. Kashyapa, who is the enemy of darkness and destroyer of all sins. Blessings, honor, status, and fame. Yes. Reunion with one's beloved. Freedom from disease and ailments. General vitality, respect, and power. Brilliant. Well, you're off to a very strong start, group three. Let's see what else we have here. Release. Yes, this card has come up a few times in readings. Look at all the butterflies. Very much a symbol of transformation. That's wonderful. Okay, so we've got here the transition from Capricorn to Aquarius. We've got Saturn here and Jupiter. It says here, fertility and prosperity. Feed your soul with love and abundance will flow. Beautiful. Got great energies here, group three. It's a powerful group. Oh, wow, this just keeps getting better. Ten of Pentacles. Love it. Yes. Okay. What else? Page of Pentacles. Really good. And, oh, the High Priestess. Yeah. Oh, group three, this is a wonderful spread. This is beautiful energy that we have here on the table. I think you've got a lot of really great things on the way. If we look at where you're going, I mean, this is the king of wands. So this is the masculine, the top masculine power at his most creative. The King of Wands is in charge. He knows what he's doing. He's got authority. He's creative. He's got a vision. He knows where he wants to go. Look, and this is a bit like an arrow. You know, he's got a vision. He knows exactly where he wants to go. Switzerland is also a pretty fantastic place. It's always considered a neutral place as well. Amazing. So I think this, yeah, there's very much a strong creative energy here that's going to enable you to create this Ten of Pentacles. I think you've got the potential to be tapping your own inner creativity to be earning new sources of income. Or well, there's something that's renewing for you financially. Financially, you're going to be able to earn money from who and what you are, what you believe, what you do, your creativity, your expression. We've got masculine firepower here. Yes, twice. We've got Surya, the sun god. We've got the sun here. I mean, that's Leo. That's creativity. 
that's masculine creativity that's you expressing that's you sharing what's within you that's come twice yes through this king of wands and through the sun god here amazing through your creative work through your creative expressions you're going to earn new sources of income through that new the new sources of income or the new way of earning money you're going to build your dream life there's a lot of abundance here for you and it's your abundance you're going to be tapping your own abundance you know that's when when we've got the page of pentacles linking in here with the king of wands and the sun and all this leo energy you're now going to be and look at all the yellow that we've got here as well she's drawing her wealth from her own inner strength her own she's kind of materializing her own wealth and abundance what's due to her it's fantastic she's not building someone else's empire she's not building someone else's kingdom she's now building her own kingdom that's what's happening here this is stunning this is really really great and through you pursuing this path and doing your own creativity you are going to be able to manifest big wealth and big wealth it must be big wealth we've got capricorn and aquarius energy here we've also got saturn and jupiter here we've got the two largest biggest manifestors who make the real stuff come through these two planets are the ones to do it also you've got the transition here from between capricorn and aquarius so another thing that this is showing me we are soon to go through this transition ourselves saturn is in the last phase of capricorn i'm sensing that you're going to be financially doing really really well by the end of saturn in aquarius so that's um 2025 so isn't that interesting we've actually got a year come up for you here in terms of a timeline i think you doing your creative projects and you making it an aim and a goal that i'm doing great and very much on my way to building this ten of pentacles scene that i want the ten of pentacles is you know the house the family the joy it's you settled happy thriving you're on your path it's going great and i can see you firmly on your path by the end of uh oh hang on is it by the end of yeah i think it's by around march 2025 saturn in capricorn I'm pretty sure i've got that right sorry saturn in aquarius saturn leaving aquarius there we go because i think that's when i think it's march 2025 i'll put it on the screen if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure saturn is leaving aquarius march 2025 and he'll go into pisces so you've got time you've got time to really get this solid which i'm sure you're working on all the time release i think you are releasing I think you're letting go of a lot of old stuff that you don't need anymore which is freeing you to be able to tap your own abundance fantastic that's what you need and i think you're going to have to be a little bit exclusive actually i think this high priestess the presence of this energy here is saying go solo do it on your own be a bit exclusive turn down the social offers if there are any but who knows there might not be any okay because she's not magnetizing much of that let me tell you she's too busy working i do relate to this group a little bit <laughs> yeah this is good this is good energy fertility and prosperity guys this is what's coming in for you now this is yours fertility and prosperity feed your soul with love and abundance will flow yeah you're, you're supposed to you're supposed to be making your path solid now and bringing in the money and it's your own money you know it's not you're not building someone else's empire now you you're doing your thing you're doing you you know you're reinvesting yourself back into yourself so good this is so good 
Oh, fantastic. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Yes, that's so true. That's so true. And I feel like you're, I feel like you know that and you're, you're on your path or soon to be on your path to really making material, concrete, manifest steps towards the things that are going to make you happy. Fear is just so, it, it's just so 2007. <laughs> there we go. I've made use of that year. But you know, I'm thinking of um, Martha Stewart. She was in an interview. They were interviewing her and they, they said something to her about, when, when do you get sick? And she goes, ugh, I haven't got time to get sick. And, and there was one other interview where she'd said something about fear. She said, oh, I, I stay right away from fear or something like that. So yeah, it's like these people who have manifested great lives for themselves, they know, they know, you know, yeah, all this stuff. She's got sun in the 10th house, so she, she, she knows it naturally. <coughs> because sun in the 10th, I mean, that's, if you want to put the sun anywhere in the chart, I think that's the, the, the best place to put it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. It says here, be uncomfortable for a year or two to be comfortable for the rest of the years to come. Yes, this is so perfect. Oh, this reading has been so perfect that I can't tell you. This is exactly it isn't it? You're going to be maybe a bit uncomfortable until Saturn clears his own two houses here. So we have a time frame for you until March 2025. You're going to be working hard. So that is kind of like a year or two. I mean, look, I think things might happen sooner for you. So this prediction here of a year or two, I think is quite accurate. Yeah, I think probably by the time Saturn moves into Aquarius, you're going to be enjoying your path very 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 much that's what you need to aim for and that's as soon as you started moving into here in Aquarius that's as soon as Jan Feb 2023 that is a year or two so you just need to put your head down say no to the social offers be exclusive okay she also she's very quiet she doesn't speak much so <laughs> be like her Say no to the outings and whatever. Do this. Be uncomfortable for a year or two. And then I'm telling you, you're going to be sweet and sorted for a very, very long time. Put the work in now, guys, and enjoy your path later. All right. Well, group number three, that was a brilliant reading. Thank you so much for drawing these cards through me. I really enjoyed, I enjoyed all three of the groups this time. Some amazing stuff going on for everyone across the board. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.